So it's been almost two weeks since the release of Resident Evil 2 Remake and a lot of you guys are still wondering if your video card can run the game. So luckily, I'm here today to test 12 AMD video cards and see how they perform on this game. Also, if you like to see more benchmark like this one, comment the game down below and with that, let us go to our benchmarking. So just a quick run through on the cards that I will be using, my test setup and my test methodology. So let's start off with the AMD cards that I will be using. So in this list, what I have is the HD6950, the HD7770, the HD7790, the HD7850, and as well as the R7 250X, 260X, and 265. We also have the Vega 8 of our 2200G, uh, the R9 Nano and R9 Fury X and the last two is gonna be the RX 470 and 570 4GB. As for my test setup, I will be using my Ryzen 5 1600 clocked at 3.8GHz on an ASRAC AB350M Pro 4 motherboard and my RAM will be 16GB of G-Skill Trident Z RGB DDR4 RAMs clocked at 3000MHz. And the game is gonna be loaded on Seagate's Fire CUDA SSHD. And as for our driver version, I will be using Crimson 16.2.1 for the HD6950, while our APU will run at 19.1.1 Adrenaline. And lastly, for other else, it will be running on 19.1.2. As for the game methodology, uh, all runs will be done on a balanced graphical preset of the game and it will start on RPD's dark room, going out all the way to the main hall, then going to the second floor to the waiting area, then exiting the fire exit and going down again and it will end at the side entrance of the RPD. And with that, let us go to the benchmark. The game surprisingly ran better than RE7 despite using the same game engine. 
I notice less stuttering in my games, especially that my main card is just using 4GB of VRAM. And surprisingly, if you think that your FPS is not enough, you could always tone down your graphical preset to performance optimized. And I'm very surprised that I got a huge increase in FPS uh, just by doing that. Uh, in my 2200G, I think I got around 28%, uh, which is a lot because uh, though it, it suffered a bit in the visual department, uh, the game still doesn't look too crappy and you could still enjoy the visuals of it. And lastly, a quick side note for those people who are still using uh, older cards on legacy driver support. Uh, I encountered an issue in my HD 6950 where I'm getting artifacts all over. So apparently there's a problem with the screen space reflection of the game. So what you need to do is to just turn it off and the game should run just fine. Finally, that wraps up my RE2 benchmark and I hope you liked my video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to my channel too. Once again, this is Brain of Junker Summit. Thank you and see you in the next video.